Ashley Spicer here with your news update. Many are relieved that Hurricane Dorian was offshore in our area, sparing a lot of coastal homeowners. St. John's County, though, they are assessing any damages there, making sure the bridges, roads, and other structures are safe. Uh, today, engineers are going to have crews inspecting the St. Augustine Pier to see if that's safe. Right now, it is closed down, but this afternoon, the results will come in, and we will let you know what those are as far as if it's going to reopen or not. Also, the devastation of the hurricane left the Bahamas in a terrible way. The storm hit the Abaco Islands as a Cat 5. So far, the death toll is 43 there, and that could go up. Hundreds of people stranded at Marsh Harbor waiting to be rescued. They were standing in a hot zone surrounded by destruction. Fire Rescue got there uh, to help those people. The Bahamas are dealing with a number of issues as this continues to uh, you know, go on and they're trying to get people to help them, get them back on their feet. We've posted on News for Jack's ways that you can help locally. Also, a developing story in Moncrief. Two people rushed to the hospital after a double shooting in Majestic Plaza Apartments. Police originally were called out because uh, the shot spotter actually detected a shooting at seven o'clock when they arrived. They found a man and a woman shot several gunshot wounds. Investigators believe there was some type of dispute that happened. They're not sure what actually went down, though. Multiple witnesses are in custody now being questioned. Always the latest on newsforjacks.com.